Hi, I'm George Roberts. A shooting head is a specialized fly line that has a number of applications in both fresh and salt water. If you've never handled one before, they can be kind of tricky, so I have a couple casting tips for you. Now, a shooting head is simply a radicalized version of a weight forward fly line. You have a very short, compact head section of about 20 to 30 plus feet, backed by a very thin shooting line or running line. Now, a shooting head can be built as a single integrated unit, or it can be built um, in two parts with the running line and head joined together by a loop to loop connection. Now, here I've got the Wolf Ambush Taper built as a single integrated unit um, with a head section that weighs 350 grains. Now, some fly rod manufacturers today are building rods that are better able to handle these very short, compact tapers. This is a Thomas & Thomas Exocet 350 SS. 350 designates the weight in grains that the head of your fly line should be. Now, probably the best tip I can give you for casting shooting heads is to back off on the power. The very compact head section is going to make your rod feel significantly overlined, and if you put too much power into it, it's going to feel very clunky. So, um, for your first couple dozen casts, I would recommend that you don't try to double haul. You just want to get the head section and a couple to three feet of shooting line outside the rod tip and just false cast it. Once you feel comfortable with this and you feel you have control of the fly line, simply let it go. Now, if you have trouble keeping your line hand out of it, that is, if you have trouble not hauling, I'm going to recommend you do something I call the single-handed shoot. Simply take the running line, trap it under the middle finger of your rod hand, and keep your line hand out of it completely. Just make a few false casts, and on your delivery stroke, you just, after you stop the rod, you just want to stick your middle finger out. And that's actually a good exercise to um, help you gain command of your rod arm. Now, a lot of fly anglers associate shooting heads with ultimate distance, but a shooting head built for fishing with a head section of only 20 to 30 plus feet long is simply not made to make casts in excess of 100 feet. So when you finally do put a haul on your cast, I'm going to recommend you don't use that to try to launch the cast into the next zip code. Use it instead to make your working long cast of about 60 to 70 feet with minimal effort. Now, during the casting sequence, you want to keep the entire head section and only two or three feet of shooting line outside the rod tip. If you try to overhang any more than two or three feet of shooting line, your cast is going to collapse. 
Now the one time when you can break this rule is on the final back cast. If you shoot a few feet of sh uh, shooting line on your final back cast and then trap it just as the fly line straightens, the momentum of the backward shooting head is going to pull your rod into a very abrupt, very powerful load and you're going to put more power into your delivery with no more effort from your rod arm. 